Could I start with, uh, I'm Mike Farmer from Bridport. Um, could I start by agreeing strongly with, uh, with Dave Rickard? Um, I think it's generally recognised in Bridport that we've been extremely badly serviced, served uh, by the District Council over the years. We've, uh, the, the, the examples are absolutely multiple. Um, Andrew Lepard was talking about this and Michael's estate. Um, that, that, that's a triple, triple whammy from the District Council eventually. Um, there are endless other examples, um, which I won't bother to go into, but uh, you know, there are, there are traffic schemes which aren't finished and replace, uh, replace pinch points which, which have been removed 15 years earlier. Great, we get the same traffic jams. Um, they won't listen to us. They don't consult. Um, they somehow feel as though they have a divine right over us. Um, we might have elected them, but uh, that doesn't, I don't think, gives them the right to do exactly what they feel like. Um, and I think uh, at the heart of the problem lies the fact that the district council is obviously composed of councillors from all over the district. And when they come to voting for extremely important local, local matters, like, for instance, the development of the St. Michael's Estate, um, very often it's councillors from um, North Dorset, East Dorset, I don't know where they come from, but or North of West Dorset, I should say, um, who appear to be extremely disinterested in what goes on in Bridport. There's no passion from them, no interest. Um, they <coughs> seem to be so frightened of Bridport that, in fact, on the third occasion we had the uh, St Michael's uh, inquiry, we had to come to Dorchester for it. Um, they again, uh, they ignored 600 people who written comments favourable to uh, actors who wish to actually stop the development. Um, they completely ignore those, despite the fact that many of them were obviously their, their electors. Um, so to cut a long story short, I feel that the District Council has condemned itself by their very own actions and that a unitary authority would be uh, infinitely preferable. But at the same time, uh, as we've seen lately in the neighbourhood plan, um, which is actually a, con a consultative um, action about local, about the de lo local development, which ends up with a vote. Now the vote can't change much, but at least it's a vote. So what I would propose is a unitary council with um, vastly bigger uh, district and town councils. So for instance, uh, in this neighbourhood plan, uh, it's not only Bridport, it's Simmonsbury, it's Waldich, it's Bradpole, it's West Bay. So if you had, if you had that, um, you would have larger bodies, and this would answer, I think, Dave Rickard's, Rickard's point. Okay, so.